Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, and in today's video we're going to cover a basic beginner's workout routine. And the purpose of this video, and the next several videos that I'm going to be making, is to help people who are getting back into training, whether you're brand new, never worked out before, or if you are coming back to working out after a layoff. And uh, I was kind of inspired to make this video after I got an email the other day from one of my followers. And, well, a new follower, I should say. And what it was, was he wrote me and said, you know, New Year's here. And he went into the gym, you know, obviously trying to get himself back in shape, New Year's resolution. Goes into the gym and he said he walked around the gym and he got so intimidated by all the machines and all the people that within five minutes he turned around and left. He just couldn't take it. He said he just overwhelmed too much, you know, coming at him and he didn't know where to begin, what to do. So that's what I'm trying to do in these videos is to kind of take that intimidation out of going to the gym. Because let's face it, it can be intimidating, especially if you go to a, a big fitness center. I mean, the bigger it is, the more intimidating it is because there's more people, more machines, more noise, more blah, blah, blah coming at you. And it, if you don't know what to do and you don't have somebody to kind of take you by the hand and say, okay, you know, we're going to do this and this and this, then it is intimidating. So we're going to try and cut through the crap, cut through the intimidation, and just get to the basics with a good solid workout routine that you can get started with to start moving yourself in the right direction. So uh, let's just jump right to it. We're going to start off with some basic machine exercises. Now one of the most important aspects of any workout routine is the warm-up. You need to take some time before you hit the weight room floor to physically warm up your body. Now I recommend doing some cardiovascular exercise that's going to work both the upper and lower body something like the rowing machine or the elliptical with the moving handles. And by doing this, you'll elevate your core temperature, circulate blood flow, and warm up your joints and ligaments to help prepare them for the workout that's to follow. In this beginner's program, we're going to do a total body workout routine, training all your major muscle groups through the basic movement patterns. Now to start things off, we're going to do the lat pull down. This is an overhead pulling exercise that's primarily going to work your lats, upper back, and arms. Now with all these exercises, I want you to start off very light. I mean, for your first warm-up set, just go through the motions and focus on using proper form. I mean, do the exercise with a full range of motion, extending your arms all the way up, and then pulling the bar all the way down to your chest. And after each set, just evaluate how you feel and if needed, you can always increase the weight for your next set. So for the lat pull down, I want you to do three total sets, starting very light and increasing the weight with each set. And the next exercise is the seated shoulder press machine. This one's going to work your deltoids and your triceps. Now the machine I'm using here happens to be a plate loaded shoulder press and the one at your local gym may be a different style machine, but it really doesn't matter. Just use whatever shoulder press machine that you have available. Now we're going to perform three sets, starting very light and increasing the weight with each set, and taking one minute rest in between sets. Now it's very important to pace yourself when starting a new workout routine. A big mistake that a lot of beginners make is trying to do too much too soon. But all this is going to do is cause unnecessary aches, pains, and soreness. The best advice I can offer you is to take it slow and steady. There's going to be lots of time later on to push yourself with more intensity, but for now, just focus on mastering the basics and getting comfortable with the exercises. And the next exercise is a horizontal pulling move with the seated row machine. This particular one that I'm using is a plate loaded machine. The one at your local gym may have a weight stack instead, but the style of the seated row doesn't matter just as long as it provides the same type of movement pattern. Again, I want you to do three sets, starting very light and increasing the weight with each set and performing at least 10 repetitions. Now with rowing exercises, you're really going to have to focus on squeezing your back muscles as you pull your arms in and then letting the muscles stretch as you extend your arms out. 
A lot of novice lifters have trouble feeling their back muscles working due to the fact that you can't see your back when you're in the gym. So you're going to have to pay extra attention to your exercise form to create that mind-muscle connection when training back. Now we're going to do a horizontal pressing move with the chest press machine. This particular one has a foot assist to help lift the weight up so that you don't overstretch and hurt yourself when starting the exercise. Now with chest presses, use a comfortable range of motion. Try not to bring your arms too far back as you're lowering the weight because you could pull or strain your chest and shoulder muscles. A little tip when setting up for the chest press is to adjust the seat up so that your hands are lower than the height of your shoulders when doing the exercise. And as you lower the weight, tuck your elbows in so that your upper arms are at a 45 degree angle with your torso. This will help to take strain off the shoulder joint and place more of the workload on the chest and tricep muscles. Next, we're going to do some isolation work for the triceps with the tricep pushdown. For this one, use an easy bar attachment from a high pulley cable weight stack machine. Now as you're doing the exercise, try to keep your torso stationary and your upper arms close to your sides. Moving just your forearms, press the weight down until your arms are fully extended. You should feel your tricep muscles contracting hard in the bottom of the lift. And just like with all our other exercises, perform three sets of at least 10 repetitions and increase the weight with each set. And for our next exercise, we're going to perform dumbbell bicep curls. A lot of people find dumbbell curls more comfortable than barbell curls because they don't lock your wrists into a fixed position. And in addition to that, you can supinate your wrists as you curl the dumbbells up to help get a better contraction in the biceps. Now you can perform this exercise with both arms simultaneously, or you can curl them one arm at a time. What I'd recommend you do is start with curling both arms together, and then as you fatigue, you can switch to doing alternate one-arm curls to help perform a few extra reps. Now with any standing bicep curl variation, it's inevitable that there's going to be some upper body movement back and forth as you curl the weight. But try to minimize any excessive swinging and using momentum to help curl the weight up. A little tip that can help with your form is to bend your knees slightly while doing standing bicep curls. This will make it easier to maintain an upright posture and it'll take away some of the tendency to swing your upper body during the exercise. Moving on in our workout, we're going to do some work for the legs with the leg press. This is a good overall mass building exercise that's going to work your quadriceps, hamstrings, hips, and butt. Now there are different types of leg press machines, from a simple weight stack machine like this one, to the bigger 45 degree angle plate loaded leg press machines and you can use whatever variation that you have available at your local gym. Now when doing leg presses, try to avoid locking out your knees and resting at the top of the movement. Ideally, you should keep the weight moving during the entire exercise in order to maximize tension in the muscles. And just like with all our other exercises in this workout, perform three total sets, starting with a light warm-up set, and then increase the weight with each set. We're going to finish off our strength training workout with some ab work. Now there are a lot of different abdominal exercises that you can do from various body weight moves to different ab machines. And what I'd recommend that you start with is a weighted ab crunch machine similar to the one that I'm using here on the video. This will help you to use proper form because you're moving along the path of the machine and you can adjust the resistance based on your individual strength level. One of the problems with doing more advanced body weight ab exercises is that sometimes your body weight may be too much to start with, especially if you're new to working out, and you could easily end up straining or hurting yourself in the process. But with a weight stack machine like this, you can start with very light resistance, focus on learning the proper form, and then increase the weight as you feel comfortable in doing so. Now after you finish your strength training exercises, it's a good idea to perform some low intensity cardiovascular exercise as a cool down. And one of my personal favorites is simply going for a walk on the treadmill. I'd recommend that you walk on an incline 
as this will create less impact on your joints while adding some light resistance from walking uphill. And doing cardio after your workouts like this will help to rid your body of any lactic acid buildup in the muscles. It'll reduce muscle soreness and help to speed up your recovery. It's also great for fat loss because after a weight training workout, your muscle glycogen levels are somewhat depleted and your body will more readily tap into burning stored body fat for energy. And for these reasons, I recommend that you do between 10 and 20 minutes of post-workout cardio at the end of your weight training workout. So there you go, a complete beginner's total body workout routine that you can use to get started on the right track. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. And stay tuned for my next video coming soon. Take care. Over and out. And to help you get your New Year's fitness program started on the right track, I have a special gift for you. It's a free 51-page report called The Three Keys to Building Muscle. This report is an easy read and it covers the fundamentals to getting in shape, training, nutrition, and mindset. The training section will show you how to combine strength training workouts and cardio conditioning together for building lean muscle while burning body fat at the same time. The nutrition section will show you how to figure out the exact number of calories that you need for your body type and the proper ratio of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. It even outlines a sample daily meal plan that you can follow along with. And finally, the section on mindset will help set you up for success by taking a practical and realistic approach to goal setting and following through with your fitness program. To download your copy, just click on the link in the video description below or visit my website at leehayward.com.